Player One looked at the film Cinema Paradiso, and more specifically, the moment where Alfredo projects the film out onto the square and the magic that it creates for all involved. I explored the qualities of light and colour and analysed how the different layers created the atmospheres within the scene. PA2, West Kensington. We were put into groups with other people with similar themes. Our group was Atmospheres, and our task was to analyse the atmospheres of our site, capturing this in film and a drawn site section. This then led on to our second task, to create an installation on site that engaged with the community of West Kensington. We tested out a few ideas in the studio, then decided for our final installation on site to create a temporary artwork reflective of those who lived there. Within minutes of drawing around each other, passers-by stopped us to ask what we were doing and wanted to get involved. Within an hour we'd run out of space. We were astounded by the positive reception we received and how engaging the diverse community had been. PA3, the abandoned quarry, Portugal. Then it was time to head to Portugal. We visited a number of quarries and looked at the production of marble. Our site was an abandoned marble quarry in Estramos and our task was to design a civic building which would rejuvenate this unused site. I designed a music venue using the organic aesthetics of the quarry as a backdrop to complement the music. PA4, West Kensington, the first task was to work out what civic actually meant and so I googled and made a mind map and decided that for these purposes civic is engaging with the community to create a building that is representative of the area and its users. Interactive so it can evolve and adjust with the needs and demands of the people using it. A place which creates a sense of belonging and pride. And then the real task was to take one unused rundown basketball court and design a building. I was knitting one day when I had this realisation. Why did I design a knitting institute? My retirement home looks straight onto the basketball court and if the residents are anything like my grandparents or me, then they'll love knitting and people watching. I could use their inquisitive nature to make the basketball court safer and more exciting to use. I started by establishing the spaces required for the institute and worked out what exactly would go into each of them. So, welcome to the Knitting Institute, a place for grandmas to knit, kids to play, mums to have a gossip and a place for all ages, nationalities and personalities to enjoy spending time together.